G'day, my name's Carl. I'm from Australian Home Brewing and I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to make good quality beer quickly at home. One of the most important steps of home brewing is being clean and sterilised. It's a no-rinse steriliser, so all we're doing is using two caps of this into a litre of water. I've cleaned all my benches and everything else is spotless. I just want to give it a slosh around and make sure I get some out of my tap to make sure it's sterilised as well. No rinse steriliser, it doesn't need to be washed off. Turn our barrel upside down, let it drain, and we're ready for the next step. Now today I've decided to make a pale ale style beer. Along with my normal can, I'm going to be using a mixture of malts. I'm also going to be using some Cascade finishing hops just to give it some more flavour, and a good ale yeast. And the good ale yeast will make a world of difference to the final, final beer that we end up drinking in a couple of weeks. So first things first, the can's been warmed. Now I'm just going to empty it into my fermenter. If the can hasn't been warm before you do so, before you start to empty it, you'll find it'll be very slow to come out like this, but that's okay, we'll rinse this out with a bit of boiling water in a minute so we don't waste anything, get maximum value. Right, so the next step, I'm going to steep my hops in some boiling water for about 15 minutes into my can to save me sterilising any more equipment. Some boiling water over the top. And we leave that sitting there for about 10 to 15 minutes, which will give us a chance to move on to the next process. Whilst my hops are steeping, I'm going to add my malts to my fermenter. I'm using warm water for my fermenter because I want it to be around 24 degrees when I pitch my yeast. I'll give this a quick stir now to save a little bit of time later on, help it dissolve a bit quicker. I've dissolved everything in there, so it'll be a nice little mix. So off we go, top her up to about 20 to start off with. And then we'll check our temperatures and if we need to adjust our temperatures, we can add some hot or cold in it at the end. That's just on 20 litres. My temperature's showing about 30 degrees. By the time my hops are finished steeping, I'll be ready to pitch my yeast. So everything's mixed together. My hops are steeped nicely for about 15 minutes. My can's a bit warm, but I'll persevere. Whole lot goes in. The tea that I've made and also the hop bag. Check my temperatures one more time just to make sure. I'm definitely on the right mark. Yeast goes on top, sprinkle it on the top. My beer's still moving a little bit so I don't need to stir my yeast in. Make sure it's nice and tight so there's no bugs get in. I've got a little bit of a steriliser solution in my airlock as well as some water, which gets half full. And that then sits on top in my little hole. Check to see that I'm still holding pressure. No leaks. Put that away for about a week to two weeks and we'll be back to drink it shortly. Right, it's over a week later now and it's time for me to check that my beer's actually finished fermenting. Before I take my sample, I want to remove my airlock so I don't suck in all the dirty water that's been sitting up there. What I'm looking for is a reading that will tell me that my beer was exactly the same as last night, which means it's completely finished devouring all the sugars and my beer's completely finished fermenting. It's exactly the same as it was last night. It tastes like beer, I think it's time to bottle it up. My bottles have all been cleaned, I'm ready to sterilise. I've added two caps of no rinse steriliser into my litre of water in my bottle rinser. And all I need to do is plunge my bottles onto the top to make sure all the surfaces get contact. Right, now my bottles have all sterilised, they've drained. I'm ready to put my carbonation drops in. Two drops per long neck, one per stivy. Take out my airlock, and I'm ready to bottle up my 30 bottles of premium craft beer. Now, I need to store my bottles for a period of time, otherwise they won't actually taste as good as they should. My premium craft beer will age fantastically. It'll be great after about a month, but it'll be much better if I can let it age even longer. So being a natural beer, it's got a best after date, not a best before date. Cheers, mate. Ooh, love that. Mate, you gotta try it, it's a ripper. Some of that one.